What's up gamers, Lex you back again with another Meteor Stomp build, this time with the Charge Bolt Sorcerer in Diablo 4. My previous video covered the Chain Lightning Sorcerer build, but this Charge Bolt's build deals even higher damage per second against both groups of enemies and single target bosses. Chain Lightning is still my recommended starter build for new Sorcerer characters, and it remains effective in Nightmare Dungeons up to tier 60s, but due to the limited targeting of each bounce, Chain Lightning starts to lose its punch in more difficult content. Switch to the Charge Bolt Sorcerer build to push all the way up to tier 100 Nightmare Dungeons once you get the required gear mentioned in this video. Let's go over the game mechanics for the Charge Bolt Sorcerer build. Vortex can stun enemies by teleporting on top of them with Raiment of the Infinite, which is a playstyle card Tele Stomping. Every enemy grouped up can then be shotgunned by all 5 bolts with Aspect of Piercing Static, and each target hit by the Piercing Bolts also explodes a Lightning Nova from Enhanced Charge Bolts. This creates what I call a Density Damage Multiplier, which means the more enemies you have Tele Stomped, the more area damage you deal with additional Novas. Or Nove? The final version of the Charge Bolts build equips Starfall Coronet to enable a Meteor Hybrid setup. Manually casted Meteors from the skill bar provide additional burst damage against elites and bosses. Meteor Enchantment is also used for a lot of extra dumps. Charge Bolts is one of the best skills to proc Meteor Enchantment due to the high lucky hit chance that is applied to multiple hits from the 5 piercing bolts and exploding Novas. Since we already have Suckage with Raiment of the Infinite, Meteors can easily land on top of a large group of enemies. Combining the Heli Stomp set up with Starfall Coronet Meteors and Meteor Enchantment creates what I'm coining Meteor Stomp. Get out there gamers and spread the word about Meteor Stomp so we can make it a widely used term in the Diablo community. Now even though Charge Box is powerful for an endgame sorcerer, it isn't viable as a starting skill. In order to hit with all 5 bolts for maximum damage output, Charge Bolts requires a melee playstyle, and this becomes even harder to manage when fighting multiple enemies that are spread out. That's why I highly recommend, even require, Raiment of the Infinite for my Charge Bolt Sorcerer build. In fact, my written guide on Ice Veins has Tele Stomp set up as the base version of the build. In addition to requiring Raiment of the Infinite, solving mana issues of Charge Bolts is much more difficult compared to Chain Lightning, which can start off with recharging Aspect and eventually generate Crackling Energy to pick up for mana gains with Invigorating Energy. There are multiple methods to manage resource that I combine together. First of all, mana cost reduction and resource generation affixes on gear are necessary. Secondly, there are some Lucky Hit effects with Lucky Hit chance to restore primary resource on Gloves and Source. Along with the Frigid Breeze passive skill, which is currently bugged to work with any type of damage, not just cold. Make sure to obtain increased Lucky Hit chance as it will also proc Meteor Enchantment more often, in addition to more mana gains. The final source of mana comes from Prodigy's Aspect, which synergizes with the build's multiple cooldowns and becomes more effective as you stack cooldown reduction affixes on gear. Cooldown reduction also works well to refresh barriers from the protection passive more often. Eventually, Prodigy's Aspect can be replaced with an Offensive Aspect for more damage when you get maxed out gear with Mana Cost Reduction, Resource Generation, and Lucky Hit Chance. Check the Build Requirements section and the Stat Priority list in the Written Guide on Icy Veins for all the build details. If you don't have the Charge Bolts build requirements yet, or you're starting a new Sorcerer character, begin with my Chain Lightning Sorcerer build guides first. I hope all of these guides help my fellow Sorcerers and Sanctuary. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for future Diablo 4 content, join the discussion in our Discord server, or catch me live on Twitch to hang out. Until next time, peace out and happy slaying.